हेलो बंधुरा आज के टूडे उ डिसकस अबाउट प्रोग्राम उथथ लेक्स प्रोग्राम एंड हेयर रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन और एपियर हेयर सामथिंग लाइक दिस एंड आउटपुट शुड भी आउटपुट शुड भी लाइक इट मस्ट भी निगोशिएटेबल आफ्टर दैट आवर आउटपुट शुड भी सामथिंग लाइक दैट फार्स्ट यू हाव क्लियर दैट व्हाट यक डू एंड लेक्स लेक्स टू लेक्स हेयर रिटार्न रिटार्न टोकन बिकज यक इज नट क्लियर अबाउट ह्वाट इज इंटीजार ह्वाट इज प्लस ह्वाट इज माइनस ह्वाट इज भेरिएबल लाइक दैट नाउ दिस इज आवर लेक्स प्रोग्राम this is our lex program now uh, a to z uh, variable should be one letter single letter and uh, when you uh, take a letter like a uh, then a is minus by a so then y y l v l is a variable it is store value zero Our main pur purpose is to store a variable as a zero, one, two, three, something like that. Now uh, when it appear uh, single letter, then it return uh, return as variable, and uh, this line generate a integer value, which denote the index number of the variable. Here is the variable. This is the token. and in yak program we must define here as a uh, it's a it's a variable variable is a token now our next step integer value uh, when a integer is appear uh, like that then we convert string to a integer value atoi is a function and uh, return type is a uh, integer integer is a token a here integer is a token you always uh, must define a here uh, variable and integer and other things those things must appear in here now plus minus this rules um this rules here about this and something like that for white space and for other things if all things are appeared then then semicolon or clone then invalid error messages will show error message why uh, why error at the function here then we will wrap we will wrap means our uh, function input uh, will end when it return successfully one otherwise input is not finish now <coughs> this is our this is our yak program first of all what we do what we do uh, like we run our program and discuss all things elaborately the yeah, program <coughs> now let's something like here our let's program then it generate and then it generate uh, something like that we delete this move trash 
and delete this now if we run here then lex.yy.c is generated now we run another file <coughs> like ycc minus t one dot y this generate y dot tab dot c y dot tab dot c y dot tab dot c and y dot tab dot s now this file uh, take a number or a variable and then call lex dot y y dot c is it token or integer or like that or something like that now we take okay now we run lex and yak together y dot tab dot c lex dot y y dot c minus l l okay now our output our output is here before it, yeah, it's not appear but uh, this time it is it's appear the process for output dot slash a dot out now now we should understand what is going on here okay if we give input one plus one one plus one then what will what will be the output theoretically it will be two but what what is going on here a fast call program program statement slash n slash n n means when i press when i press here uh, this cursor position enter then a uh, before um, string done their job now one plus one so program statement and statement call this statement then statement means expression or variable equal expression but we do not write here a equal to b equal c c equal uh, c equal six so one plus one here first one call this expr this expr but uh, expr means expr uh, call integer integer let's say integer okay it's a integer and then plus and one one plus one so first expression first expression value is first one is allocated in memory then read plus then second one second one we can, we can write here three uh, then three is not read by a uh, yak then it call uh, to legs what is this what is this three when it appear uh, three in yak this line expression plus expression then it call what is three then it go to uh, legs program and here it's y y l v l uh, store value three and return integer integer and then it is store three i take three uh, one plus three like that this expression means double dollar sign equals this expression is dollar sign one plus this plus and second expression means dollar sign three actually actually one first one is dollar sign one plus second 
3 is uh, dollar sign 3 this add operation occur here and uh, double dollar sign store this value 3 plus 1 4 and this value is store expr expr what is the value of expr but you should know that first it is called dollar sign 1 it's dollar sign 2 and it's dollar sign 3 so it is first so it is uh, the value will be store here so it is dollar sign 1 so we can print dollar sign 1 so our value will be like this if we enter then 4 now uh, we put like a equal 2 equal b equal 3 now c equal a plus b and then c our answer will be 5 what is happening here a equal to a equal to then a equal to so program a equal to so program statement here as new line new line we press here now program statement a equal to what is happening here a direct value is not used here expression here we use a equal to so variable variable equal expr it will be used then from this variable equal expr a is not a, a is unknown by yak then it called to lex and what is a then lex return that it's a variable and and this is the most important point here uh, it return it return yl yyl vl is zero so the value is zero so and a equal to 2 2 is x expr and expr means integer so here is another integer now integer value is stored here how it can occur now variable it is a dollar sign 1 it's a dollar sign 2 and it's a dollar sign 3 and dollar sign 3 is store which value is store uh, 2 2 contains 2 value and 2 is assigned to sym dollar sign 1 so we know that we know that uh, we write a b c d e f g but lex always return a integer value we uh, write a equal to so uh, we write here a minus uh, y y text minus a so it generate zero so here s y m here index is zero here index is zero uh, s y m zero index equal two equal to uh, i uh, write this elaborately here uh, how can it happen uh, actually 2 is written for variable c uh, then b equal 3 then b equal 3 so for b um, for b 1 is returned so s y m 1 equal equal 3 and then we write c equal a plus b c equal a plus b so c equal a plus b so variable equals expression and expression equals we use here expression plus expression but for first expression a expression a we know s y m 0 index equal to and 
for second expression s y m uh, 1 equal 1 index equal 3 so this value 2 and 3 added and dollar sign dollar sign is to this value dollar sign double dollar sign means expr and expr store this value here 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 so and we write c c equal a plus b so c means return legs uh, index number 2 so sym2 equals equals 5 5 so then we enter when we enter c then c value will be printed okay now this is another problem if we do not write d then what will happen c equal a plus d please notice here d is not predefined then what is happening compilation error because d value is not defined before so if we define d equal to to then c equal a plus d a plus d so c equal but above value are about so you should uh, define another time a equal to d equal 3 a uh, 2 and c equal a plus d and c equal 4 something like that uh, this is the uh, short overview now here we can write three four five okay now okay a plus a equal to b equal three uh, c equal a plus b equal c c equal to five so <coughs> when we write this <coughs> when you write this then uh, a is unknown for yak then yak call to legs then legs return for a is 0 then we store 2 in a integer array then b b legs uh, return for b index number 1 and store here 3 then for c legs return to yak index number two then we store here five then we print their value it's not difficult but uh, something is complex but if you try hard then you can solve this easily okay thank you